In this video, I'm going to show you how to paint a landscape and this is the photo I'm going to work on. So this is a Camlin cotton canvas which I have wrapped around the MDF board and as a start, I'm going to make a quick sketch. So now what we have is a canvas that is split into multiple sections and now I'm gonna fill them with paint. I can see the trees here have quite a dark green color and I need to choose a kind of mid-tone that will suit well for this area. I got this color called olive green here I'm planning to use it for the trees. Let's see how it works out. This step of this painting is called blocking in. You can do this real quick. No need to make the colors completely solid. Slight variation in coloring in density makes it look more natural. Here I'm using a old shabby round brush that is giving me a quite nice spread. I think the trees look quite fine in the olive green so I'm gonna put the same color over there on the trees behind the meters too. So now we are done with the trees I'm gonna focus on the hill over there on the left. Let's just start with the same olive green again. I can see there is some slaty color on the top part of the hill, so I'm gonna mix a bit of Prussian blue and white as well. As you can see right now I'm mixing four different colors, Prussian blue, olive green, white and black and I'm gonna change the amount of each of them to add some variations on each part of the mountain as the bottom part will be more grassy I'll add more green there and as the top part will be more foggy as it's further I'll add more white there. So now that we have covered all the mountains, we can start with the fields. So we need to use some vibrant green color for this. I'm going to choose cadmium lemon and olive green here. You can use some other color as well, maybe sap green or something. I'm a little bit obsessed with cadmium lemon when it comes to foliages. For making the sky, we are going to mix crimson lake, prussian blue and a little bit of white. We will cover the whole sky with this color and leave the clouds a little bit lighter than the other parts.
So I'm going to leave the sky like this now. Later we are going to cover this part in the end. Thanks for joining everybody. Please to like, share and subscribe. Hope you like this session. See you in the next one. So this is where we had left off in our last session and we had completely blocked in the whole canvas. Now slowly I'm gonna add all those details. Let's start adding them from the farthest object here. And that would be the snowy mountains, right? We had covered the whole mountain in dark blue earlier and now I'm gonna lay all the bright white snow all over it. And I'm gonna use the palette knife for that. Palette knives are quite cool when it comes to sharp edges like we have in mountains. Now that we have laid all the snow, we need to add some shadows on that snow. I'm gonna mix a bit more blue and black with the white. It will add a bit more contrast to the mountain as well. Now I'm going to use the liner brush to add some more details on the snow. For the small streams, I'm going to use the same Prussian blue and white mixture. And for the details on the green closer mountains, I'm going to use olive green and a little bit of Prussian blue mixed with the black and white. For the dark areas on these closer mountains, I'm going to mix the olive green and a little bit of Prussian blue and black. So we need to add a bit of texture on this rock, for that I'll add some shine. So I'll just add a bit of white with the same slaty color we used earlier. For making the streams and lines of snow a little bit prominent, I'll apply pure white. The mountains don't seem to have a proper depth yet, so I'm going to add some fog there. I'll mix white and matte gel medium with some black and crimson and Prussian blue. So I'm going to mix a little bit of Prussian blue and olive green together to put some dark patches of trees on those you know, closer mountains.
now that we are done with the mountains we can cover them with clouds so for that i'm going to mix some gel medium with white you need to blend that white properly with the sky and mountain for that you need a, a large soft brush i'm going to use a plate smooth base coating brush here The cloud looks too much white, we need to add some shadow there. So I'll just add a little bit of purple and white mixed with some little bit of black. In our last session, we had left off at the mountains and sky. Next closer thing I see here is the green meadow and I'm gonna start with that. There are some soils and rocks on the part on the left side, so I'll mix some burnt umber and black for the soil. Now I'm going to add some shine on those rocks, for that I'll just add some white to the same color. So now I'm going to add some shine on the grasses, for that I'm going to use cadmium lemon and a medium thickness brush let's make the small grass here in on the bottom of the forest I'm going to make it a little bit bigger than it is on the photo I think that will make it look better let's make the forest now so first i'm going to add some extra leaves in the outside of the each of the trees i'll use a round thick brush for that so earlier i made the base of the forest using olive green i'm going to add some noise on that with some black and olive green mixed together I find the white bristle fan brush is quite suitable for this job. 
if you want to spread the paint over a large area but you don't want it to be smooth this brush is quite suitable for that and here I'm using a, a number 8 Raphael fan brush the bushes on the media are almost the same color as the forest so I'm going to use the same color there Now we'll add some details on the bushes and forests. For that I'm going to mix a little bit of white and cadmium lemon with the same color that we used for the forest. Assuming the light is coming from the top left corner of the landscape, I'm going to put all the light colors on the top left, on top left corners of the trees and bushes. Now that we have painted all the light parts of the trees, I am going to mix black and olive green and put that in the bottom right corner of all the trees to give it a little more contrast. I am going to fix a few things before we finish it. Those mountains don't seem to have proper depth, so I am going to desaturate them a little bit. I'll do something similar to the forest as well, they don't look as dark as it should be. So I'll mix some gel medium with some black and apply on there. It seems I have added a little too much medium with the paint, so it looks a little bit whitish. We need to wait a few minutes to make it look better. Now that it has dried, the forest looks darker than before. I'm gonna call this finished now. Thanks for joining everybody. Please do like, share and subscribe. See you in my next video. Bye for now.